What's going on there, grapefruit nostrils? What's up everybody, Jay Hayes here. So today I'm gonna be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. I've had this device for about three, four weeks, maybe even a little bit longer, when it first hit the scene. And I did a review on it, and then I wasn't really happy with the review. I just kind of, eh, I was editing it, and I was just like, man, if I'm losing interest in myself, other people are gonna lose interest and watching me do a review for this. Now, it's nothing special. It's not, it's not a huge device that everybody's talking about, but it is in that mini series, like the Tarot or the, or the Target Mini or the Snow Wolf Mini, the RX Mini, you know, that whole mini thing, which seemed to be a phase because not a lot of people are even talking about mini mods anymore. They're back to the four batteries. It's like a cycle. It's a vicious cycle. Two battery, three battery, four battery, mini. Stick box mini stick box waffle mini it's everywhere so today i'm gonna be doing a review on this guy right here the v80 by however you say this company we'll call it the lassimo this is their lineup of smaller mods now when you look at this it's gonna look identical to the snow wolf mini identical the only differences you're gonna see are the actual screen one is color one is not i for one could give a shit if it has a color screen, as long as it functions good and it's got good battery life, it's a win. This is an internal battery. They say it's a 2600, but I don't know if I believe that because it's so small. I mean, this thing is tiny. So without further ado, let's bring it down. I'm going to show you a little bit about the menu. There's not a lot of things to go over in the menu. There's like three settings. I mean, I don't even know if I need to go down to show you it, but I will just so you can get a better look at this device on the up close and personal. So here is the box, the Lassimo V80, which is an 80 watt built-in battery box mod. Side right there. On the back side, well, let's just see. There's, there's a warning right there. That's awkward. That's an awkward warning to put on the side of a box. Due to version optimization, the product interface will be different from which is displayed on the package. It's not really any different than that. We'll take a look at it when I turn it on. There's your colors, red, green, blue, silver, rose, gold, space gray. I got the space gray. I was, I wanted to get stainless steel, but I know on the original Snow Wolf, stainless steel was a huge fingerprint magnet. So I, I didn't want to get that all over again and relive that night. Nightmare. This is not a kit, this is just the mod. Not sure if they do have a kit for this device. Here is the manual, and it is multilingual. It does look semi-thick. It's really not as bad as what this manual appears. It's not, it's not super big. Little warranty card. I'm not 100% sure on their warranty. I've just had very little to no success rate of anything being warrantied from any Chinese companies. Really, even iJoy was supposed to send me a replacement, and they never did this is the mod we'll go over that in a second in the bottom here you're gonna have your micro USB and that is all there's nothing else in this box you have to use the micro USB on this just because it is a built-in battery there's no way to take the batteries outside of this this is the snow wolf mini and this is the Lassimo v80 they are literally identical in size no matter how you look at this one has got the color screen which is this guy and then this doesn't also another thing to take note of is that on and off switch this has an on and off this does not it's rough because i really really like this mod something small compact your fire button is kind of recessed in your up and down you can actually feel and they are clicky five clicks turns it on and that's your screen that's everything all in a shell there's a couple things first off you have your mode which shows power your lock resistance voltage puffs these guys on the top of these remind me of streamers like it's fourth of july and these are hanging over like uh like mom and pop stores to lock the device is real simple is holding the up in the fire that's gonna lock the device and you can't do anything you can't fire it it essentially functions the same way that five clicks would function fire button is feels good it's very responsive the back plate is glass just like the front is it is going to be very fingerprint friendly so just keep that in mind when you're doing 
doing it. The venting on the bottom is solid micro USB. I kind of wish it was designed like this, but again, it's more designed towards people with the left hand. They're really going on that side of the house now, aren't they? To adjust the power, you're going to hold the two down together, and then you could pick here. There's your do-it-yourself, titanium, nickel, and power, which is wattage and stainless steel. I'm going to be using this, and I'm going to be using this in power, but if you do use it in temp mode, there's a little bit more settings. Let me show you. Hold the two down again. We're going to go over to stainless steel, and then there's your wattage, and then there's your temp. To switch the two, you press, just don't hold them down. I should run Robin up the Fahrenheit. There it is. So it goes all the way up, and then you scroll to the proper Fahrenheit, and you hit the fire button. You see how that's adjusting temp on the fly? To adjust the wattage on the fly, just tap the two buttons. And now that that's set, you can adjust the wattage by going up and down. In order to lock the resistance, once you have your temp mode active, you're going to press the down and the fire button, and that's going to set the actual resistance there's not a lot to this there really isn't put a 25 on it i have a feeling a 25 would give you a little bit of an overhang nothing too severe and sure enough there's your overhang so 24s will work good on this but you 25s you're going to get the little bit of overhang i mean it's manageable but it's going to be more designed towards the 24 sitting on here you can put a 25 on it you're not going to be able to fit a 30 i can tell you right now that's not going to happen and there's a 24 kind of sits perfect so let's bring it on the top. So we are back on top with the Lassimo V80 80 watt built-in battery box mod. So if you're feeling a little bit light in the shoes, if you're feeling a little bit dainty, this might be the mod for you. If you feel like you don't want something that's so big, it's just going to take up your whole cargo pocket like you're holding on a VCR, this would be the go-to. This would be like a goldfish versus a mod with four batteries is like a shark. Do you really want a shark in your pocket? You have to ask yourself that question. So 80 watts with this battery, it's not gonna last all day. This to me, as small as the devices, as small as any of these devices are, they're not really designed for full power all day use. You're gonna need to plug it in and you're gonna need to charge it several times a day, which goes into the thing is if you have several mods, then you're gold. If you just wanna work with this all day, you better use 20, 30 watts because you're not gonna get an all day use out of this mod. The writing or the text, the font on the screen is very, very difficult to read because it's very small. It's not a touch screen as much as you would think a color screen would be a touch screen. It's not touch. You actually have to use the buttons to activate it. The ramp up time on this is pretty extreme. It, it takes a little bit. See? Now it's in. It gives you the power that you need. You know, it's a very, very, very bare bone basic mod. I don't even know why they went with a color screen, especially if it's the same company that made this one. It, they're de it's definitely the same company that the that they came out of because they're identical. Would I prefer this over this? Absolutely not. I would much prefer this one that has the on and off than I would this one. However, this one's going to get more fingerprints on it versus this one that's a space gray. So how would I rate this device on a 0 to 10? Being as basic as it is, I feel like the Snow Wolf Mini is going to be a better option than the V80. It's just you don't really need all that color screen and it's, it's not even that appealing. It's just the color screen that shows you different colors and it's not really that much colorful at all it, there's a good amount of colors at the banners or the streamers on the bottom i guess they just wanted to make something that was more appealing than the actual snow wolf mini zero to ten i'm going to give this a five an easy five the ease of use i'll give a couple points that's it i wish it had more functions on it you know maybe a screen brightness or whatever but i i don't even think they release firmware to upgrade this you just get what you get so this isn't a cheaper mod there's other mods that you could get that use external batteries or even internal batteries that are a little bit bigger that are going to last longer than this would last using the full 2600 mah external batteries another story by itself you could buy batteries that have 3000 mAh Samsung 30Qs over LG HG2s just because there's too many LG HG2s out there. Granted, it's only 15 amps. A lot of the times mods don't really require more than that unless you're doing ridiculous builds. I can't recommend this device. If you're going to get something small, get either the Snow Wolf Mini or the RX Mini. Two very small, compact mods. Again, battery life isn't the best, but if you're going for small, those are the two to go with. Don't even use this as a factor in your equation. It's just, 
It's just a decent device. I think it's actually less than decent. So five is being very polite. I've kept it real. Have you? Jay's out.